Hey, welcome to the video. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss a very important, very common clinical lesion that is Cushing syndrome. So let's discuss what is Cushing syndrome. What are the common uh, causes? Clinical uh, features, morphological changes that is associated with various tumors. How to investigate uh, the different causes and how to differentiate amongst uh, the Cushing syndrome related causes, and uh, how to treat, uh, how to manage the Cushing syndrome. The most important cause is pituitary adenoma that is uh, also known as Cushing's disease. So if the Cushing's syndrome is caused due to pituitary adenoma solely, it is known as Cushing's disease. It could be also adrenal tumors like adenoma more commonly or sometimes even adrenal cancer, adrenal carcinoma. Various paraneoplastic syndromes which elaborate excess amount of ACTH thereby leading to increased cortisol level. Then also uh, we get uh, uh, this Cushing syndrome, the small cell carcinomas, the bronchial carcinoid, renal cell carcinomas uh, that will be associated uh, with uh, the Cushing syndrome and the exogenous administration of uh, corticosteroid that is indicated in various medical conditions that could also be a potential cause of Cushing syndrome. So most important thing to remember is that the pituitary adenoma which is seen in almost like 60 to 70 percent cases we get pituitary adenoma in the, as the endogenous cause of Cushing syndrome. It is these are all the endogenous causes whereas this is the exogenous cause of Cushing syndrome. The important uh, clinical features include central obesity, there is moon faces, uh, there is rounding of face, there is weakness, there is a uh, androgenic abnormal pattern of hair growth that is hirsutism, Hypertension uh, could be seen due to increased uh, cortisol level. Diabetes is seen due to increased gluconeogenesis under the influence of cortisol, hypercortisolism. Bone breakdown may be again seen as a metabolic effect of hypercortisolism. Strie or abnormal pigmentation. Now why it emerges? It is believed that the corticotrophs of the pituitary along with the ACTH level, it also releases uh, melanocorticotroph hormones, so which, uh, which causes pigmentation in uh, ab abnormal areas of the body so because of increased ACTH level along with the ACTH also there is melanocorticotrophs that are also being secreted which causes pigmentation across uh, different areas of the body that is so striae or pigmented areas emerge in different parts of the body immunosuppression which is a metabolic which is the effect of uh, cortisol uh, due to decrease of phospholipase and various other causes so that uh, uh, can also be associated uh, with hypercortisolism or cushing syndrome so moon faces buffalo hum so you can see the accumulation of fat that is more seen around the back of the shoulder that is buffalo hum uh, hump like uh, area emerges elevation elevated area emerges that is uh, full of fat this is called as buffalo hum rounding of face mo uh, moon faces is seen and the pigmentation so these are the three most important uh, clinical signs and symptoms of Cushing syndrome now let's see what uh, we are ought to what we ought to see in the morphological changes of pituitary and ad adrenal gland in different tumors so the Cushing syndrome as uh, depicted as discussed it is more common in pituitary adenoma so pituitary adenoma when uh, it is the cause of Cushing syndrome it will show these affected uh, cells uh, will show enlarged cells will be enlarged and rather than the paler basophilic cells that is normally seen in the corticotrophs they will be more homogeneous eosinophilic with paler in color rather than the dark basophilic color there is accumulation of uh, intermediate uh, filaments keratin filaments so that uh, gives it a uh, eosinophilic hue so this is uh, known as uh, crook's highline change adrenal gland uh, will show a diffuse hyperplasia which again it could be some nodular hyperplasia as well which could be macronodular or micronodular hyperplasia so these hyperplasias are under the influence of are under the influence of uh, these uh, ACTH adenoma from pituitary or if we can uh, directly get uh, circumscribed lesions that is adenomas or even carcinomas may be seen as the cause of uh, Cushing syndrome so these are the some common uh, changes that we see in uh, Cushing syndrome in pituitary gland and in adrenal gland now how do we investigate how do we uh, differentiate amongst the different causes of uh, Cushing syndrome that is uh, important to be marked 
so if the cortisol level is uh, estimated cortisol level has a uh, different values at different uh, time interval so at morning it is generally 8 am cortisol level or 4 pm cortisol level or it is also estimated at night cortisol level could be estimated from serum or even uh, uh, saliva also cortisol level is estimated sometimes so the baseline cortisol level is estimated if it is uh, elevated then we further estimate ACTH level if the ACTH level is decreased then it, it indicates a primary adrenal disease now why it will happen because the adrenal the disease is in the adrenal gland it could be adenoma or carcinoma so hypercortisolism from adrenal gland that is uh, sick, that is uh, sending a negative feedback uh, to the pituitary level and uh, that is uh, what causing decreased ACTH level so increased cortisol level decreased ACTH level this is indicative of adrenal adenoma or adrenal carcinoma adrenal disease Whereas if it is uh, increased, if the ACTH level is increased, then we do a high dose uh, dexamethasone suppression test. So these high dose ex dexamethasone suppression test, so we inject a high dose of dexamethasone and uh, then we see the level of ACTH and cortisol. So if uh, it, it causes uh, decrease ACTH on injection of uh, high dose dexamethasone, then it is indicative of pituitary adenoma so this dexamethasone will directly inhibit uh, just like the cortisol as it inhibits uh, the ACTH level here also uh, it will cause this dexamethasone exogenously uh, administered dexamethasone will also cause decrease of ACTH so what we get is decrease ACTH and cortisol level also will go down with uh, this uh, high dose dexamethasone suppression test whereas if there is ectopic uh, production of uh, the hormones or paraneoplastic syndrome as the cause of uh, this uh, this uh, Cushing syndrome, we will not get any change because uh, this ACTH is secreted by some uh, hormone by some uh, uh, cancer by either small cell cancer or bronchial carcinoid or renal cell carcinoma. So there is uh, it will not have any effect on. Uh, uh, these cancer cells it will it can inhibit uh, the pituitary gland but it will not uh, it this high dose dexamethasone will not have any effect on the ACTH secreted by the tumor cells or the cancer cells which are already autonomous so there is no change in the ACTH level or cortisol level on uh, high dose dexamethasone suppression test in case of paraneoplastic syndrome or ectopic production so this is very important uh, to remember and many of your questions vignettes are being construed based on uh, this algorithm now how do uh, we how do we treat uh, the cases the tumor like uh, cases the tumor of uh, pituitary or or there is uh, adin adrenal uh, tumor so it could be uh, surgical excision that is being uh, construed that is being uh, given so surgical uh, excision is being uh, done and up in the pituitary uh, tumors apart from the surgical excision also pituitary radiation can also be uh, done as a part of the management so a particular clinical syndrome emerges that is called as nelson syndrome so the, in nelson syndrome the, the, there is a removal of cortisol feedback uh, mechanism after bilateral adrenalectomy for refractory cushing disease so in this cases uh, there is a kind of a pituitary tumor microadenoma is there uh, and uh, without being investigated if uh, there is a bilateral adenectomy being is being done so the cortisol feedback um, inhibition that is there normally that gets withdrawn and the microadenoma uh, of the pituitary gland that further enlarges and that uh, causes uh, that causes uh, hyperpigmentation headaches and bitemporal hemianopia so there is enlargement of uh, pituitary microadenoma so the, though there will be reduction of the cortisol level due to adenolectomy but there will be pressure effect headache bitemporal hemianopia all these are the pressure effect and along with that uh, melanocorticotropin hormone will also be secreted by the pituitary gland that will cause hyperpigmentation so this particular phenomenon is what known as nelson syndrome so let's have a quick recap for what we learned today the most common cause of Cushing syndrome is known as pituitary adenoma. It is also known as Cushing's disease as well. Central obesity, hypertension, immunosuppression, these are the key features. 
ACTH level, plasma and CL saliva, cortisol level, dexamethasone, IV suppression test are used for the differentiation among different causes of Cushing syndrome. And uh, the possible treatment modalities include surgical excision and or irradiation for the tumor related causes of uh, this Cushing syndrome. So thank you all. Thank you for the attention and uh, keep on uh, reviewing the important concept of uh, Cushing syndrome. And if you uh, require, if you need me to, if you need to consult me directly for any kind of uh, assistance in your preparation, you can uh, click the link that is uh, click the link uh, given in the description below and uh, you can join my group for further learning and please stay tuned uh, to the channel for more and more uh, engaging videos and don't uh, forget uh, to give your valuable feedback. Thank you.